So now let's cover how to do animation on a computer. So basically we're going to look at how to move things around on your computer screen. So here's a program for drawing a person on the computer screen. It's basically the same program I've shown you earlier. Here in the first part of the program, we load a person image. And here we just draw that person image on the screen. Now, if we want to do an animation, the first thing we have to do is we have to go to this weight function line and we get rid of the weight and we change it to a new command, repeat. Now with this repeat command, your main program, which draws the person image on the screen, instead of just drawing the image once, will draw the image again and again and again. It's repeated. Now if you keep drawing the same person image in the same place again and again and again, the image always looks the same, so nothing changes. So that's not interesting. So in order to change things, we're going to use something called a variable. So let's take our command here for drawing the person image on the screen. We draw the person image at the position 50 comma 50. So let's take the first 50 and cross it out. And instead of drawing it at position 50, we'll draw the person at position X. So we'll replace the 50 with an X. And then early on, we'll say that X is 50. So basically, we're still saying that you should draw the person at position 50, 50 because x here is 50 and it gets replaced. Now the interesting thing happens when we start changing this x. So below here we'll add this line x equals x plus 1. What this does is when your program runs, every time your program is repeated, it will increase x by 1. So if x is 50 at the beginning, after it runs through this command, x will be 51. And when you run the program a second time, x is 51, so 51 plus 1 is 52, so x will be 52 the next time you run the program. So what happens is, as the program is run again and again and again, x will keep increasing, and it will draw a picture of the person at a different position each time. So the first time it will draw the person at position 50-50, then it will draw the person at position 51-50, then at 52-50, and again and again and again. Now this is sort of cool, but it ends up you have a lot of pictures of this person. But you don't want to have a million pictures of a person. What you want is to have a person look like it's moving across the screen. So what we use is we use this command c.clear. What this does is it clears the screen. So when you run this program, the first time your program runs, it will clear the screen and draw the person at position 50-50. Next, it'll clear the screen and then draw the person again further to the right. Then it'll increase x, clear the screen, draw the person at the new position further to the right, and then again and again. And basically, by doing this really, really quickly, it looks like that the person is sliding across the screen to the right. So here I've shown you how to write a program that moves something across the screen. So why don't you go try making your own programs for making other things move across the screen? For example, you can go on the internet and find a picture of a horse and have the horse move across the screen or a car move across the screen or some other interesting animations.